Hey, YouTube. I'm Brick Smith, and welcome to Lego's Ultimate Builds. These are my friends. We're building a thing and eating french fries and being stuck at college and all that and all that. We got Blaze in the chat. What's going on? Um, we're doing the tree, right, Keith? That's what I'm building, at least. Yep, same here. <laughs> Tree builders. All right, let's do that. Ooh. All that space. Love it. All about that space. About that space. Uh, I still need to get a mount to mount my other camera so that I can put both of them on the screen at once. But no time, Julian, like we were talking about earlier. No. So thank you, TJ and Jeff, for helping moderate the chat. Yes, thank yeah, you very much. Tell like you. Kevin stream, we want to see your faces too. Yeah. <laughs> see your face and hear your comment. Yeah, and eat your French fries. I love that. Right. I'm gonna mute myself as I, as I pull up the stream on the other. Uh, I mean, you still see my face. I, so. That is, you are not, you're not lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that good enough? Let me put myself on the big screen. Make sure you guys can see what needs to be seen. Like, uh, okay. I, I don't even, we don't even need that. the tree, right? Huh? What? What? What did you say, Jeff? Or I like the base that the tree sits on. I've never seen it before. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it is fun. Yeah. I'm gonna go put this tree over here because we gotta start with a doot doot, and I'm working on you know no space whatsoever. So yeah. Right. Are we ready? <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> TJ's out to lunch. Okay. All right. Here we go. What? 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 Ooh. Yeah, that part. No. Yes. Doesn't go like that. It does. No, it doesn't. Don't make me question myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> I will. Remember, he's not feeling well. You have to be nice to him. All right. You absolutely do not have to be nice to me. <laughs> yes, I, I I'm trying to look out for you there, Julian. Yeah. Hey, so what are your guys' favorite parts of the build so far? Uh, I like the water a lot. Mm. I like how they uh, fill in the gaps between the four sides with angled pieces that are just stuck onto. I don't even. We talked about those pieces. I forget what they're called, but I call them frying pans, but they're not. But they have the little handles sticking out. The, yeah. the, Oh, yeah, you're talking you. about is a different one. Yeah, but they just slide these side assemblies into the gap, Jeff, and it, it's it really does a neat job of hiding it. Did you do the spaceship, Jeff? That's cool. I did. Well, what spaceship? The the, big no, I didn't. Okay, well, it's the same type of technique there, which okay. is a new technique that I have never seen before. So, I had not. Which spaceship are you talking about, Julian? The one me and Keith built. The Saturn V. Oh, the Saturn V. Wow. Yeah, I, Saturn I built five. the Saturn V very early on in my Lego journey, and in fact, I didn't really know, you know, I, much about it at all, which is sad because I would, I don't, didn't appreciate all the uh, build techniques that like I would now. Yeah, yeah, I can believe that. So now I want to take it apart and build it again, just so, so I can learn. Hello, dude, Jude. Let's hey, see dude, dude. Man. hey, dude, Jude. All right, so we got water, we got the base, and what's yours, Strawbricks? Uh, mine would be, I like how they built the swing. Built the what? The swing. Oh, the swing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that too, actually. The swing is pretty cool. Yeah. Copycat. Yeah. What are you talking about? I, I had to leave Keith something to say. Yeah. Hey, I just knew I knew he was going to say that, right? Yeah. He already took my sides, so therefore, you know, I had to be help with something. What did I do wrong? Yeah, already. Oh, oh, okay. I see what I did wrong. Oh, boy. I'm glad I'm not embarrassed by talking about it more than that. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it's all good. And the yeah. was an ideas project, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, yes. um, me and Keith actually met the guy at Philly. Oh, dope. Yeah. Yeah. What nice. was he like? Uh, I barely remember him. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Me too. <laughs> I mean, okay, now we're doing these dark brown versus reddish brown again. Uh, <laughs> this is so hard to tell. Uh, it was, was personable because uh, I do remember chatting with him for a little bit. 
Um, so he wasn't someone to just you know brush you off or something. Yeah, no, he was good. Yeah, he was good. he's a good dude. It seemed like. Yeah. Uh, it is definitely a far cry from the original. Yeah. Uh, Can I do remember? Did we show it on the stream or after the stream last time? I don't remember. Okay. Do you guys remember? Nope. But it's in your email and you got a link. Oh, I'll yeah, show it right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll find it. Don't worry about it, guys. You guys do oh, thing. Is Philly just where he's from, Keith? Is that how you saw him? Uh, I don't know where he's from, but he was exhibiting at Philly. Okay. The yeah. Philly Breakfast, yeah. Which you get some Midwestern people, and then you get some from the from the the area and up and down the coast. It was a it's quite it's quite of a quite a group of people. Yeah. That show up. I think I said this before, but I am so looking forward. Well, I mean, everybody's looking forward to being able to travel again. But now that I've made a bunch of friends like you guys, I want—I don't usually go anywhere because I just like to stay home. But now I've made a lot of Lego friends all over the world that I'd love to go visit. Hey, Julian, I found that image. Here it is. So this is the original, apparently. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That is substantial. That is a beauty. Yeah, it is. Holy cow. I'd love to get the, also, the instructions got, um, for that one. We've got Tom Straw in the chat. He says, oh, I'm sure I'm cousin good. Keith building along with him. Whoa, whoa. That's nuts. Right. He's yeah. welcome to join if he's able to join. Can I, can I say, Keith, I don't think that's the one I showed last week. No, that's not the one you showed. The one, I, the one that, we showed, uh, that we talked about, I think it was after the stream. Okay. Was, yeah, I think it was. It was my uh, Flickr thing. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, it's coming back to me. Nah, nah. See, yeah. so you'd have to stretch your email to find the link. Yeah, I'm building, I'm, I'm doing, doing hot guys. No. Yeah, yeah, we don't, want to get, we don't want you to get behind. I'm already behind. No, you're yeah, not. Keith, you're gonna have to build slower tonight, Keith. What are you talking about? So you don't lap <laughs> Julian, right? Oh. Maybe Julian just needs to build faster so he laps Keith. Yeah, yeah, but he's not feeling well tonight, so he's got a disadvantage. Oh, boo-hoo. Get to work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, number 251. Are those light? Are those regular brown or those dark brown? Those are dark brown. Boy, oh, boy. Which which one were you, which step were you asking about? I was asking about 251. 251. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was just asking. Yeah, all of those are dark brown, like 250, 250. 251, 252. 250. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm at uh, I'm at 252 right now myself. I'm at 253. Oh. Wow, you're you're doing just fine, Julian. Yeah, for now you'll see. I believe in you, Julian. The delirium's about to set in. <laughs> How was the pizza? Uh, it was cold by the time I got to it. Oh man, Aww. what kind? Well, um, Sam's Choice, uh, four meat or whatever it was. I don't know. I've never understood people who actually like cold pizza. That's not my thing. I, I don't I, mind it, but I definitely uh, would have preferred to have it warm. I don't mind cold pizza. Julian, am I allowed to cuss? Yeah, Is that allowed? I, I don't. I don't always. Uh, I don't always do it, but it doesn't like hurt my heart uh, okay. to hear it from time to time. You know, it chaps my ass about but, people. Oh no, that's pizza. perfectly fine. Ass chapping is fine around here. Fantastic. <laughs> it's people that heat their pizza up in the microwave instead of an oven when they're doing the reheat. Ooh. I, I, I'll have to admit, I have been guilty of that. <laughs> well, I mean, so was I, but then I became a man, and then I used that. Oh. <laughs> hey, wow. Hey, wow. That's yeah. good. It's, it's, it's well, fantastic. Well, it's a time thing. I'm like, yeah. Therefore, yeah. 45 seconds, 50 seconds in the microwave versus... You know, got to wait for the oven to heat up, and you know? then. But I have heard from people that uh, if you have an air fryer, oh, said that is the absolute best way to reheat pizza. Same wow. thing with French fries. Yes. Well, another another way to do it that I do with pizza is I heat it up a little ways in the microwave, and then I finish it off in my um, uh, what's it called toaster oven. Oh, oh. Man, that's oh, yeah. a way to do it, and that'll crisp it up. Yeah. Yeah, Blaze says microwave is faster. I don't have time to wait on the oven when I'm hungry. See, 
Really? Yeah, yeah, but I yeah, but it's just not yeah. as good. You just gotta have some and, finesse and some class to your reheating of your pizza. You no, know, I just don't. I don't bother with either. I just eat it cold if it's left over. <sighs> that's that's the problem with, with your generation, DJ. <laughs> yeah. I can no, say things my, like that. I'm an old man. See if it's um if it's fresh pizza, if it's pizza that I haven't touched before, then I want it to be warm. But if it's been sitting in the fridge overnight, then I don't mind it cold. Ooh, all right. I got a round of questions for all of you. So, Dave, uh, deep dish, uh, Chicago style, or Brooklyn fold and go style? I don't actually think I've had Brooklyn fold and go style, but I do like deep dish a lot. I'm all a right. big crust guy. Fair enough. Keith? I need cold oven fired hand tossed pizza. Oh, wow. Fancy. Yeah. Julian? Oh me, uh, yeah. Uh, I am. I'm from the Midwest. I love deep dish, but if you uh, if you're gonna twist my arm, I'm gonna go with the uh, well. What is it? The thin crust fold and go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like I like it. Fair enough, TJ. Deep dish. Deep dish, Chicago yeah. style. All right, fair enough. I'm a oh, fan of the pan. One. Nice. Yeah. And uh, dude shoot says a real man uses a blowtorch. <laughs> <laughs> Can't necessarily argue that. <laughs> Good one, dude. And Blaze says stuffed crust meat meat lovers is my go-to. That's not a bad pie. Yeah. yeah. When I'm when I'm at school, usually I'll do thin crust, just because mm-hmm. getting an entire pizza for myself is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> and I and I usually just eat it in one sitting. So, you got to think of it as multiple meals instead of just, you know. Yeah, yeah. I probably should, but yeah. I haven't done that so far. This is what happens when you think about it the other way. <laughs> I also don't usually have room in my little mini fridge for pizza. Yeah. Uh, I, I have bigger fridge. All right, next round of questions. I have a lot. So, Dave, favorite pizza place that's not a chain, so like little hidey hole? I... I absolutely have one that I've been going to for, believe it or not, probably 35 years. It's nice. called Nona, Nona Emilia's Ristorante Italiano, and it's it's about 10 minutes from my house, and it is the best pizza I've ever had. And wow. yeah. So I had an answer for that one. Keith, what's your favorite Anthony's, pizza place? Anthony's Coal Oven Fired Pizza, 57th Street between 6th and 7th Ave in Manhattan. I will check that out the next time that I'm in New York. Absolutely. I like good New York pie. Absolutely. Julian. Uh, Gio Dorno's in Chicago. Fair enough. And TJ. I don't know if it's a stream because, you know. This was, there was this place, and unfortunately it's closed now, but there was this place called Danny's that was really good. Yeah, what was it good about it? Everything. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. It was, I, it was great, but unfortunately other people didn't feel that way. Oh, I also have to say, Jeff, before you go to the next question, you reminded me, Nona Emilia's also, I don't know if this is, this is, I think this is traditional, but they made lasagna with real Italian sausage as nice. the meat. And oh gosh, it's so good. Now I'm getting hungry. I like a good lasagna. Yeah. Lasagna. No, I'm not a huge a, lasagna fan, but theirs is fantastic. I have a question for TJ. Has you ever been to the Giorno's that I'm talking about in Chicago? No. With the deep dish and the okay. I have not. I should, okay. but I haven't yet. All right. What do I know? <laughs> a I, lot. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a local place that I like too. It's called Momo's Pizza. Uh, there's only two uh, stores in all of Tallahassee, and that's the only place I've ever heard about it. Uh, if you look it up, it's pizzas slices as big as your head. That's their motto. <laughs> nice. it's really seriously, that's great. Um, I ate three quarters of an extra large and drank a pitcher of beer in one sitting once. Oh my gosh. Has ever done that? <laughs> did you get your, Did you get yourself a T-shirt and a picture on the wall? I did not. Not there uh, at the. Uh, what was the? Um, I got the T-shirt at a Hobbit Hoagie here. In town, they gave me 20 minutes to eat something that was huge. I did it in 10. And then the other place um, was Super Perro's uh, Hot Dogs. It's a Cuban hot dog restaurant or something. It's Colombian hot dog. Anyway, whatever. All right. 
Yeah. And, I, and I and I and I ate two full size meals that night too. <laughs> did they use uh, Did they use some of the old Colombian spice in their hot dogs? They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. <All right. laughs> and then uh, Blaze says Beggars Pizza in Chicago is amazing. Nice. Yeah. And I thought um I thought of another place, and I checked to see if it was actually a chain, and I don't think it is. There's only six locations for it, so I wouldn't consider that a chain. But it's called Garibaldi's. Garibaldi's, and it's got it's got some giant ass pizza slices. Nice. There's, yeah, there's uh, one in there's one in California, three in Illinois, and two in Texas. Oh, okay. that's an interesting distribution. Yeah, yeah. I have to there's say, a- changing subjects for just a moment. I'm no. still I'm still learning how to use certain pieces, but the uh, the headlight bricks are just so they're such a cool piece because you can do so many cool things yeah. with them. <laughs> I was just looking at what what they did with step. 256. Oh. Oh. So uh, there's a place in Kingman, Arizona called Stromboli's, and it is a hole in the wall that is the biggest hole in the wall you've ever seen. And uh, they make the best calzone I've ever had in my entire life. Ooh. And so when I cool. lived there, I would always order from them, and it was always awesome. Uh, here in Oklahoma, there's a place called Hideaway that is uh, locally owned. I think there's like four or five of them. But they make the best New York style pizza this side of the Mississippi, I think. Yep. So yeah, it's a uh, it's awesome. Pizza's I always fantastic. find it interesting how some of the best places you'll ever go to are holes in the wall that you would never go to unless you were either brave or somebody told you about them. Yep. Yeah, no doubt, right? Like. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. Also, I gotta go feed my puppos, so I will be right back. Okay. All right. All right. How many people do we have watching, TJ? Uh, that doesn't show it for me because I just have the pop-out chat pulled up. No, oh, gotcha. But um, Blaze says, Sauce on the Side is an awesome calzone restaurant in the St. Louis area. They have a bunch of different calzones, all with the sauce on the side. Oh. And just to look, we have eight people watching. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Ask Cousin Tom what step he's on. Wait, is he building with us? He's supposedly building with us. So he should be on the stream. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Get on here. Get on video. We got room. It's raining down from Daddy. Yes, it oh. is. <laughs> Wow, it's quiet all of a sudden. Oh, except for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Jeff. It was too quiet. Jeff solved that. I'm having a moment of silence for the parks that fell on the floor. Say that again. You were dropping out for a minute. I said we were both having a moment of silence for the parks that fell on the floor. Oh, yes. Okay. I walk away for five seconds and you guys stop talking. That's right. That's all right. The boy needed to be regulated. Oh. Yeah, and it's always the way. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. This is the Where'd way. the other round one go? That's what she said. Wait. Did oh. Jeff leave? No, he's, he's just a dog. Food, dog food for a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh, there it is. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I like Jeff's uh, random co- collection of questions. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, he's very good at that. It's kind of his his thing, his, his shtick. I'm the only one on camera. Yeah, yeah. It's your face. Yeah. My beautiful. There, partner. there. Is that oh, better? No. And I can uh, do this. Oh no, I can't. I'm at the edge of edge of how far I can go. I'm trying, okay. I'm trying to be. Uh, Uber professional and show off my build and do. <laughs> I'm a real Lego guy. Oh. Oh. 19 minutes in, got a ton of little pieces left from bag one. <laughs> yep. Little pieces. Little pieces. It's okay. Yeah. It's all, it's all good. I'm, I'm off tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, so, you know. <laughs> 
Yes, I wish I was. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, same. Fire me. Wait a second. Is <laughs> off a good now? Huh? Yeah. That's the best part. Okay. Yeah, man. So yeah, tomorrow I got a 9 a.m. class. Yeah. And I got a COVID test to do as well. Ooh. Yeah, we have um we have random testing every yeah. week, and I was lucky enough to get selected for the very first week. Oh great. Uh, so. Well at least you have no people. Yeah. Hey, can and, somebody oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh dude Jude says, Who likes meatloaf? I like meatloaf. Meatloaf is great. <laughs> I like meatloaf. The, the food or the the singer? <laughs> that was the food. Yeah, yeah, I know. For meatloaf, <laughs> but I won't do that. Thank you, Julian. I knew that you would get get what I was where I was going yeah, with this. Um, yeah. So, can you, uh, TJ? Can you help me out here? Absolutely. What are the importance of the scissors under the bed? That's what I was wondering too. In the uh, build here. That's a good question. I suspect it's like the, well, I was going to say, it's like the frog in the uh, Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage. Nobody knows it's there except the person who builds it. Right. Except everybody who you just told. Well, yeah, exactly. Which I already knew about it anyway. Even though and that one had a reason to be there. It was the homage to the frog DNA. But yeah, I don't know why these scissors are here. No idea. Adam's family? Yeah, I mean, that's where we were. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm back. Hello. Well, hey. we are cre we are all creepy and kooky, Keith. So, <laughs> so Martin from Alabama says he accidentally stumbled on this live stream. Woot. Woo! Wait, 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 wait. wait. Martin from, from Alabama. 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 from Alabama is a great builder. Wasn't he on the 24 hour live stream, Jeff? Yes, he was. He's a yeah, he's a great builder. builder. His stuff nice was guy. his stuff was amazing. Yes, he is. Follow him on Instagram. Which is Brick Snaps, so right. check him out. He cool. is actually part of the inspiration for the Pink Bucket Nation castle. Really? That's yeah. cool. Y'all don't know. What's the story <laughs> there? Uh, I, his Troy build just like resonated with me, and I was like, this is great. I need to build a castle. And then I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then somebody in the Kevin's chat's like, Kevin, draw a Pink Bucket Nation castle. Uh, oh, and then I was like, "Hello, Seth." Hey, Seth. I was like, "Oh, then that's what I need to do. That's the castle I need to build." Cool. Okay, so that's okay. So I I googled. Yeah. Why does the Lego treehouse have scissors under the bed? And um, it represents Kevin's day job as a hairdresser, the designer. Nice. There's oh. also folklore that says sleeping with scissors under the bed is a way to cure nightmares. Isn't Google amazing? Yeah, we found all that so quickly. Back in my day. All right, so I got a nerd. <laughs> yeah, about yep, the, yep. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. We love right, your questions, by about, the way. Uh, uh, Martin's latest picture that he put up. It's an older build, apparently. And uh, you know how I feel about Star Wars, but this thing is dope. He built a section of the trench run from Star Wars. Yeah. And holy crap, like, put down your bricks, Star Wars builders. This guy wins. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's and, awesome. Uh, Julian, I put First, his link to his Instagram in the private chat. So if you want to throw that out there for fun, I would definitely do. Let me get I can't get there fast enough. Hold up. Yeah, uh, and when you said that, Jeff, <clears throat> and it actually did you say it fits for a Star Wars build. You said it's an older build. I was thinking it's an older build, but it checks out. I was <laughs> <not built. laughs> yep. Man, that is a nice build. So yeah. go follow go follow this dude right here. Where's the build? I didn't get a chance to see it. Oh, I There's a uh, private chat. Ah, okay. I'll go look at that in a bit. You, here, you, can, uh, you can hook on that link and go to the thing and do the stuff. Uh, okay. That's, that's always good, doing the Rick stuff. Rick Snaps, a.k.a. Martin from Alabama. Uh, yeah. I don't know how much that Alabama part is true, but he's from Alabama, apparently. Yeah, he, 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 got, he got an accent. <laughs> Can't deny his accent. He's got a bit of an accent. You got bit. Lit Brick in the chat. Hello, Lit Brick. Hey, Lit Brick. Hey, Lit Brick. Man. What is step 275? It doesn't look like 275 does anything. It's just showing how it's finished, I guess. Wrong page. <laughs> is, that, I can't, is that set, set, set a burden? Set, set a, a burden. burden. Yep, it is. Yep. Welcome. 
And that's a good point that he makes, that it's not a competition, but it is cool to, you know, learn from other builders. And I think that's what's great about our community, yeah. personally. Yeah, exactly. No, that's one of the best things about this community and the hobby. Yep. Okay. And Let's making fun it. of Julian for being an old man and having to use a flashlight and his glasses at the same time. Hey, yeah, man, how did yeah he makes jokes at me, but I'm not, I don't have a flashlight on. I do yeah. have my glasses, though. You know how much easier it is to compare the brown and the, and the light brown? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm All still right. gonna give you a hard time about it, buddy. Oh, please do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wouldn't oh. have it any other way. I'll give you the biggest, hardest time I can, Julian. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna follow that one up. Is that even legal? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, Mayor of Millbrook. Hey, Mayor of Millbrook, how you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? Hey, uh, we don't yeah. judge Julian. <laughs> Gotta get somebody to throw Mayor Millbrook's um, link to his YouTube channel in my in the private chat so I can share it, please. And thank uh, you. I got it covered. Okay. Hey, um, TJ. Yeah. I just came across a pair of gold binoculars. Can you see if those are in any other set whatsoever? They're in all. They're all in all the Ninjago I, sets. Like um the Star Wars binoculars piece or the other kind of binoculars? No, the original binoculars. Yeah. Those. Oh yeah, I have, Ninjago, I have an Ninjago. I have an Ninjago set with those. Okay. I haven't seen them before. I'll um Step I'll look it up in a sec. Was, was that a step in this set, Keith? Yep. What step are you on? Uh, number 312. Holy crap. Are you no, serious? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey. You better not be okay. that far. Uh, it's 279, I think. Okay. Yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> yeah. How does this go on here? I'm All right. Gonna... It's in the private chat, Julian. Thanks, sir. I'll get you in just That's a second. Right, and I'll um I'll look up that gold monoculars piece. Thank you, sir. Because it's a I know it because it's part of a Ninjago droid build. Oh, I hadn't uh, seen it before in gold. Yes, Dave is very aesthetic with his uh, sorting ability of uh, pa paper cups and plates. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, what did I do wrong here? And so also the things. gigantic bins behind him. So there's that too. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a, these guys. It's, yeah, those guys. guys back here. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. It's in right. 17 sets in gold. Okay, so not that many. Yeah. Yeah, not not too many. It's in um, let's see, five Ninjago sets. Pretty impressive. Uh, a few elves and friend sets as well. Uh, uh, it's um, in. Metal Beard's no. duel. Metal Beard's duel. It's in oh. the uh, the Doc Brown fun pack. Hey Keith, Tom is on step two seventy four. He is nice. falling behind. I am on step two seventy four. He's right on time. I did something <laughs> wrong around step two seventy. Oh, there we go. Me, there we go. Okay, there. That makes it better. All right. Problem solved. Now I can get going again. I, I, I have catch up with Keith. questions for you all. Is that okay? Absolutely. Oh, no, please. These all questions right. are great, Jeff. I don't have an official notebook with me. I'm sorry, but I have an official document, so that works, right? Well, I like official documents. Yeah. That makes you, that's what you know it's official. Yeah. That's right. Especially yeah. when it says so. All that's right. Cool. So, uh, steak. Uh, we'll start with who's right below me. So, Julian, what's your favorite kind of steak, and where do you get your steaks from when you do have steak? Uh, we go to Walmart, and uh, Brittany knows what my favorite is. Brittany, what's my favorite steak? <laughs> Like what brand? What do you buy? What do you always buy for me? Okay. <laughs> uh, I really, I, yeah, I really don't have a favorite steak. I will eat porterhouse. I will eat any of them as long as uh, they are bloody and mooing. Awesome. So you like them rare, huh? No, I like it rare. Rare already. Keith, what about you? You big steak fan? I do like my steak from time to time. Um, so a restaurant, at least, is is a hole in the wall near me called Major Steakhouse, uh, and that's where I like to go to for a restaurant steak. For other steak, uh, there's a supermarket near me that's like um, that specializes in meat, and um, they, from time to time, will have on sale a full filet mignon at five ninety nine a pound. Wow. Oh, so. Uh, and they'll cut it for you. So I buy that, have them cut it about inch and a half thick slices, 
cook one that night, freeze the rest, and I can usually get like five or six meals out of it. Nice. Uh, yeah. But when you cook it, you got to cook it. I cook mine actually in the air fryer. And you take it right out of the air fryer and you put gorgonzola cheese on top. Let it sit for like maybe two, three minutes so the cheese starts to melt on it. And then you eat it. Oh, mama mia, that sounds delicious. Right? Yeah. All right, TJ, steaks. I'll, I'll be honest, I don't need a lot of steak because it doesn't sit well with me. Oh. Fair enough. All hey, right. even though it may clean your colon. Uh, maybe, maybe I haven't found the right steak. There yeah. you go. Maybe. All right, so Keith, how do you like yours? Do you like yours medium well, rare? How do you like them? Uh, medium, just medium. Just medium? Yeah. Yep. All right, Mr. Morgan, same question. Believe it or not, I'm not a big steak lover. I eat a lot of chicken and a lot of pork, but yeah. not a lot of steak. I like I like brisket, though. I love brisket. Yeah, brisket's pretty awesome. And I have a friend that makes fantastic smoked brisket. In fact, I'm going to help him make a video of how his brisket process works. I like weekend. that idea. Yeah. yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Down here in the almost south of Oklahoma, we have a lot of brisket that happens, and it's always a good time. My father-in-law makes a awesome brisket, and uh, he also makes awesome steaks. So I take my medium as well. So, yeah. It's funny because... Um, We've been doing these company picnics during the summer. Our company is very small, and it's really more like a family. It's the best place I've ever worked by far. But sure. um, he, one year, um, he did brisket there, and we also had a vendor who had stuff. And almost everybody was eating his brisket and none, none of the vendor stuff. And so the vendor <laughs> didn't show up next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was pretty funny. Uh, by the way, boys, uh, I have a statement slash question. Yep. Thank you, Jeff, for getting this ball rolling. Sure. I am currently in the middle of a movie, and the movie I am watching is Bad Boys with Sean Penn. Sean Penn. Check it out when you get a chance. It's about a juvenile delinquent. Oh. oh. So you're babysitting again? No, I'm just remembering the good old days. <laughs> ah, yes. There you go. <laughs> I remember Bad Boys as being Will Smith and Dom. Um... Yes, but long before they did it, yeah. Sean Penn did it. Really? Eight, 1981 or 83, I think. I can't remember. It's, yeah. That movie sounds really familiar, Julian. It's super gritty. It. It's super gritty. Yeah. It was It was the first violent movie I ever remember watching. Oh, wow. Yep. <laughs> Which would be why I haven't watched it. Yeah, makes sense. I'm not a violent movie fan. No, you didn't. You don't seem like the type, Dave. No offense. No, then I take no offense. I don't watch our movies. What? All right, so just in I general, understand. I don't watch our movies. No, I agree. Yeah, that's understandable. All right, so Julian, just, favorite genre of movie and favorite movie, go. Oh God, it used to be comedy. Uh, uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say my favorite movie is Shawshank. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I, there, there's a prison motif going on with my uh, <laughs> my, my choices. Yeah. All right, Dave, favorite genre, favorite movie, go. Oh, that's tough. I mean, I think if I had to pick a genre, it would be sci-fi. But my favorite movie, what's immediately coming to mind, is Princess Bride. That's a good one. That's a good one. As you wish, sir. As you wish. Exactly, yeah. TJ, same question, go. I'd have to say sci-fi as well. And then my favorite movie is Tron Legacy. That was a good movie. movie. That is a good movie, too. That's a good movie. I really like Tron Legacy. Not a lot of people did, yeah. but those people it's, are weird. It's, it's a lot wonderful. of eye candy. The whole Tron franchise is wonderful. So, huh. so T, can, can I bust in here for a minute, Jeff? Absolutely, Dave. Thank you. TJ, have you seen the original Tron? Yes, I have. I watched it while I had my Disney Plus subscription. It's very, hey, what did you, very interesting movie. Yeah, the, my interesting story about that, and Julian can, can have fun with me saying this again, because I'm so old, I actually saw the original Tron in the theater. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it was amusing because, you know, I went with a bunch of my friends, and we were all, you know, I worked in computers my whole life, IT, and I understand it. I went with a bunch of computer friends, and we were all laughing like crazy, and mostly their people are going, I don't get it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit awesome. on the nerdy side. That's awesome, though, Dave, on many different reasons. Like, I own Tron Legacy on Blu-ray, whatever, but I also own Tron the original on VHS, and that's the only way that I'll watch it. I won't watch it on the DVD or the Disney Plus. 
Interesting. It's the only VHS I have left besides the original Ghostbusters movie. All right. Keep going with the questions, Jeff. This is actually really a fun. Did Jeff say what his was? No, I got to ask Keith. Keith, favorite genre, favorite movie, go. Uh, favorite movie? Because Julian already stole the Shawshank, I will oh. go with my second, which is Usual Suspects. That's oh. a good one. Never seen it. Oh, oh it's fantastic. Hello, Doc. Fantastic, yes. Kaiser Sose. Kaiser Sose. Kaiser Sose. <laughs> Uh, my favorite genre is sci-fi because I'm that guy. Um, my favorite movie of all time is uh, Blade Runner. <laughs> oh, couldn't couldn't get through it. I tried. Well, my dad was on leave and he was home and he's like, "Hey, we're gonna watch the movies." And I was like, "All right." And he like popped in Dune and I was like, "This is horrible for a six-year-old to watch." And then he popped in Blade Runner and I was like, "This is worse." Okay, <laughs> and uh, then just fell in love with sci-fi from there on out. Oh, this is brilliant the way they're attaching this, Keith. What step um, two nine three hundred, where they attach this into what's below it? They're using these oh, yeah. these yeah. Uh, these pieces. Yeah, to go into clips. Yeah, and, and um, it's just it's a great way to attach it. Tom Straw says his favorite movie is The Wizard of Oz. Ooh, that is a good movie. Uh, I actually just movie. watched that. That is a good movie. <laughs> I, I just watched that recently. But fun fact about uh, um, about our man Dave right here. Uh, he saw that one in the theaters too. Yeah, I, I was figuring that's where you were going with that. <laughs> you have fun with that. By the way, it came out in 1939. For that's that right. Didn't know. I don't look that old, do I? I'm doing well. Well, we didn't want to tell you how old you looked, but... <laughs> So, so Jeff, I've got to ask, uh -huh. have you seen Tron Uprising? Yes, I loved it. It was a great series. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It just, it really pissed me off when the uprising begins and the show ends. Yep. That yeah. was really disappointing. Yeah, but it was a good show. So, Top Where, where, Guns where was that? I got I a fun story about Top Gun. This is for the mayor of Millbrook. To, uh, oh, Top, my, Top Gun's good. My dad was a technical advisor on Top Gun. Wait, wow. wait, how does that work? So he was, they were filming at Miramar and my dad was the senior man on the flight, on the, on the, uh, the flight deck, the, the pathway, the runway that day. So his crew, uh, VF 22, um, the fighting frogs, I wish I was joking. Um, <laughs> they, uh, they were assigned to helping the actors in and out of the planes. And oh, that's very that's cool. What my dad did. He helped Tom Cruise and Anthony Edwards out of the plane. So your dad was a pilot. Is that what you're saying? No, my father was a grease monkey of the best sort. He made sure F-14s flew well and flew currently. So cool. Yes, nice. he was a so he was a grease monkey, and he was also a f uh, ejection seat uh, installer uh, repairer. He's a uh, uh, life support systems for the F-14 is what he specialized in. Gotcha. Cool. Nice. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah Blaze like, says it's cool um, too. If that ever happens. Yeah. Blaze says that Star Wars is his favorite, but above all, but outside of that, it's The Crow. Yeah. Oh. The Crow's not a bad flick. That was good. No. Well, yeah, and back back to my other comment for just a second, because TJ reminded me. I was I um uh, I'm also I also saw Star Wars. Maybe I mentioned this on another stream, but I saw the original Star Wars in the theater like, yeah, 12 times over the summer. But I still get chills watching the first part of that when the big destroyer is flying by. Boys, I actually lied to you just now about oh, did. the script movie. I did. Uh-oh. It's not Shawshank. What? Yeah. So what it, is it then? It is either it's a tie, it's a three-way tie for first. Oh brother, we're at the Raising Arizona and um Back to the Future. That's Ooh, fair. Back to the Those Future are is a good one. Yeah, yeah they are. Are Those are my my top three movies. I can't Hello for Zoom. Hey Chris. Hey Chris. So Firefox is a good flick too. That was with uh, Clint Eastwood, and he had to. He stole the Russian plane that could only respond in Russian thoughts. That was wild. <laughs> Here's some old space for you for Zoom. There you go. There, I don't have the camera on. What did you do? Oh. 
Wrath of Khan was one of the best Star Trek movies ever made. Ooh, that is a good movie. I, I, am, I am a fan of Wrath of Khan. I have yeah. a fun story about Wrath of Khan merchandise if anybody wants to hear it. Sure. All right, so when the first movie came out, Star Trek The Motion Picture, which is like, there's a joke about it. I can't remember what it is, but Mego had the rights to all the action figures and the bridge accessories and the models. So Mego made a bridge that was made out of cheap plastic that would basically tear if you looked at it wrong. Okay. Figures that sucked, that didn't come with any accessories, so no tricorders, no phasers, nothing, right? And there was also, the good thing about this was the middle size uh, Enterprise that came out. It had lights and sound, but you could also uh, reorganize it to make it into a Reliant or any of the other class of starships. It was cool. Oh. Motion picture bombed at the box, the box office. Like, that movie was horrible. It's yeah, I it love was. Star Trek, but that movie just sucks. Yep. <laughs> um, Agreed. So, Wrath of Khan comes out. Nobody wants anything to do with it. Nobody's like, yeah, merchandise, maybe not so much, blah, blah, blah. So no action figures, no cups, nothing. That movie is the number one movie of that year. <laughs> it was so much better. Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock comes out, and merchandisers are like, oh, yeah, we're back on board. And they released figures that looked like they were out of Wrath of Khan, and you got Scotty, Kirk, and Spock, all in Starfleet uniforms, no phasers, no tricorders, and none of those characters wore those co- those their uniforms at any given amount of time in that movie, except for maybe five minutes at the start. <laughs> so, <laughs> Search for Spock does poorly. Merchandisers back out. Yeah. Uh, Voyage Home does great. Merchandisers are back in for Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, which <laughs> is not awful. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Toys sell really well. Movie bombs at the box office. Merchandisers pull out. Star Trek, Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country comes out and is the top grossing movie for the year. <laughs> no action figures, no nothing from it. Have they learned their lesson yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> so Every Jeff, odd number Star Trek movie sucks, fellas. It's the even ones you got to yeah. bank on. Yeah, Jeff, what do you think of uh, The Voyage Home? Uh, that was one of my favorite Star Trek movies growing up. Thank you. I still like that. I watch that periodically. I have it on. I have the whole collection, the original ones on uh, Blu-ray, and I like so, that. Uh, one so did yeah. you know that the Enterprise that they visit in Voyage Home is not the Enterprise? No. I don't think I did. That so is, what is it? It's the Kitty Hawk. Oh, do you know why I know it's the Kitty Hawk? No, because that's the boat my dad was on. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> so, nice. Chris, you really like Star Trek Three? What? <laughs> I am um, Star Trek Three was the search, movies first for Spock, right? That was a decent movie. I like I Search was, for Spock. I thought that was okay. I mean, as much as I can remember, I haven't watched it in 25 or 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a while for me too since I've seen all the Star Trek movies. So I want to I want to discuss our build real quick. Uh, yeah. I effing love this. I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. I cannot get enough of this thing. Yeah, that looks cool. This is. Are there hinge parts for the in between, like the angled bits? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, then there's a whole bunch of hinges. Oh, that's dope. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. We got a that's window. Cool. Yeah, it's it makes me very, very happy. Yeah, the writing that's... quill right there. Dang. Yeah, that's it's got all the, it's got all the right stuff in it. Yeah, the right stuff. I would, the exact, yeah. I would recommend this build to anyone. Period. All right, my next question is is in line with movies. It's about James Bond, so we'll, we'll ask some James Bond questions. All right. All right. Sure. Here's Brosnan. Yeah, all that's right. my that's my favorite. All right, TJ. I haven't seen any <laughs> Bond movies, so TJ's yeah. fired. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, well, he is. They've eluded me. He's a younger guy, so. Yeah. <laughs> Keith, who's your favorite Bond? Uh, I like Sean Connery. Yeah, uh, that's what uh, I that's expected most people to say. Yeah, that, yeah. that's. <laughs> Uh, I can't think of his name, but the guy that's been doing him recently, I think he's been knocking it out of the park. Daniel Craig? Yeah. I don't care for him as much. I mean, I shouldn't say it that way. I don't like 
the style of Bond. It's a grittier Bond, which is what they're going for, but it's just not my kind of thing. And so I don't like Daniel Craig. Now, in the same respect, respect though, TJ, uh, TJ could have had the opportunity to watch that, but why would you watch action when sci fi is your thing? Right. <laughs> I got you back, TJ. Now, now watch this. Pay attention. All right. Hold my beer. All right. <laughs> the guy that made the treehouse yes. also, what happened? Oh, the guy that made the treehouse also has a clock on ideas right now, a cuckoo clock. Yeah. And this is the homage for this is why he built the cuckoo clock because in step 307, he builds the cuckoo clock. That's awesome. Oh, wow. So Hello, Brick out. Revolution. That's cool. VR, what's going on, man? Hey, Brick Revolution. Hey, Brick Rev, how you doing, bud? So I, I I really enjoy Daniel Craig. I like a meaner Bond, like a more cynical Bond, but that's just me. But you know, Sean Connery is my go-to. Yeah. Oddly enough, I actually liked Roger Moore a lot too. I know that's a very. Uh, uh, <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah. Now you're yeah. fired. That's a very Roger Moore answer. That's a very Dave answer from you. So no worries, man. <laughs> Roger Moore was fun. He was a fun but, Bond. But I thought Pierce Brosnan was the most suave Bond. Yeah, and and yet he could be not exactly gritty, but yeah. rougher when he needed to be. Yeah. Golden Eye and those kind of movies were good. Yeah, and that, and it's funny because that 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 Bond was mine and Ke- uh, mine and um, Jeff's generation Bond was Pierce Brosnan. Yep. Yeah, and yeah. Timothy Dalton for the two yeah. movies that he did. I enjoyed those. Yeah, yeah. I am invincible. <laughs> yeah, have the pen. <laughs> yeah. So we've got to talk about it because Chris keeps bringing it up. Moonraker. Ooh. What about Moonraker? Did you like it? It was okay. I didn't dislike it. Let's put it that way. So let me let me just say this. What's Moonraker? Oof. I was going to ask. Seriously? Wow. You've never Google. seen it? I don't think I've ever even heard about it. Of course, it's Jeff, possible. I also have the, I forget what it was called, but there was like a, a an anniversary set on Blu-ray that had like um, 50, no, maybe, I think it was Bond 50. Yeah. Or Bond 25. Anyway, it had a lot of Bond movies and I had that. So. Oh, is it Bond? I, uh, yeah, I missed it. Yep, it's a Bond movie. Ah, my bad. So it's a Bond movie at the time that... Uh, it's a Bond movie at the time that Star Wars was huge, Julian. So I'll just oh. like, use your imagination for that. <laughs> I look like I watch it. It's not like Bond. Does it have Octopussy in it? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's another. That's another one of my favorites. Is Octopussy? Right. That's a good movie. <laughs> what was the one with the Lotus? That was the Spy Who Loved Me. Were they the, with the Lotus that turned into a submarine? Oh, was that Spy Who Loved Me? I can't remember. Yeah. Or you only live twice. I don't know, but that one was my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. I just can't think of the name of it. But they they go to like the big underwater like facility, and it's as Bond villainy as you can get. Nice. I saw all pretty much all the Bond movies growing up as a kid because my parents were big fans. But they liked a lot of the locations that were shot. They traveled to mm-hmm. Europe all the time, and so they loved that part of it. Dave, did you read the Ian Fleming books? I didn't. I should. Yeah, they're good. They're they're. They're a lot more nastier as far as like violence and stuff goes than the movies. So just, I know that yeah, you, know, you said earlier, so I'm just giving you a warning. Yep. What I think I might do is see if they're available on Audible because I yeah. that's how I read quote most of my books these days is through Audible. Yeah, so, same here. So this just in from the Ooh, news wrong. desk, uh, Cloris Leachman just passed away. Oh no! How like, old was she? She was uh, your old. age. Huh? Yeah, ninety-four. Yeah, your age. And then there's Betty White. Yeah, who's like oh, ninety-nine. One more year, and she can't play with Lego anymore. There you go. Betty White, who just refuses to die. Exactly. Ooh, we have a chromed. I don't know if it's exactly chrome, but it kind of looks like a chrome tile. That's chrome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Hello, Brick Studio. Oh, hey. Hey, Brick Studio. So one day in the nuclear holocaust that follows the end of the world, uh, Betty White week? and Keith Richards are going to meet, and uh, Betty White's going to look at him and go, you know it's time, Keith, and they'll both draw swords. <laughs> I like the reference. I love it. <laughs> there can only be one. Amen. 
Uh, school's going all right, Brick Studio. I started classes today. I have a class tomorrow. So, nice 9 a.m. class. That sucks. No, it's it's fine for me. I get up at 6 every day. Yeah. Well, guess at what? At least when I'm at school. You'll be hitting the real world, you'll be up before. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I don't mind. So, it means I can't do late night streams anymore. But yeah. That's fine with me. So, Julian, did you yeah. typically have day shift or did you have mids? I had been on seven to three for the last 15 years. So you get to sleep in now. Uh, yeah. Well, I, that, I have a three-year-old son. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> there is, there is yeah, no so sleeping. I remember my first day after I was, uh, I was done. Yeah. And uh, I'm laying in bed. And I'm looking up at my ceiling, and it's like 4.35 in the morning. Mm. And I'm thinking to myself, I have to get up and get ready. Yeah. And I look at oh, my... orange bricks. Hey, orange bricks. Hey, I orange looked at my bricks. clock, and I looked at my phone, and I was like, oh, yeah, I quit yesterday. Or I walked <laughs> away, or yesterday was my last day. And then I slept until 1 in the afternoon. It was yeah. so nice. Yeah, uh, right, yeah. You and Julian did the same thing, right, Jeff? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I only I did it with juveniles. So uh, did, did I. It with you no, no, oh yeah, okay. Well, then you can tell you can vouch for what I'm about to say. They're worse than adults yep. and women and all that. Female juveniles, Julian. How much uh, fun are those? Okay, so we had a we had a standard saying at work. Uh five or ten ten male youth is the equivalent to five female youth. Yes. They are um hell on wheels. Oh yeah. Uh, you couldn't get me in the female mod. I would not do it. I would not. I would refuse. I would walk away. I'd do whatever it took. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it. <laughs> First, now I have the Paul McCartney and Wings song going through my head, Julian. Do you know what I'm referencing? Uh, I wish I did. Um, it's, it's a song called Helen Wheels. Yeah. Oh, but it sounds oh. like hell on wheels when they sing it. <laughs> so I have a horrible prison story. Can I tell it? Oh, please. All right. So one of my last months there, there was a inmate who, uh, real firecracker, we'll call her, and uh, <laughs> firecracker was in solitary because she uh, assaulted a guard, and the guard didn't do anything about it because they're a coward. And uh, those are the best. Yeah, those are the best. They're the best. <laughs> didn't, dude, she didn't even call out on her radio. <sighs> you got to do that. The person in ops was not even paying attention to the camera or walk. Anyway, right. <laughs> put in solitary. And so our our administrator, head administrator, is like, well, we'll let her have access to the you know the the normal like little area that she has in her pod, like the you know the where the table is and where the water fountain is. Yeah. And we're all like, This is a horrible idea. Like, what are what are you doing to us? Yeah, absolutely. And then they gave her pencils and paper, Julian. Oh, geez, you only give those the crayons. Yeah. <laughs> you only give so, those to the what? You only give them crayons. You don't you give them crayons. crayons. Okay. Got you, you do know. not give violent offenders or suicidal kids pencils. Pencils. Or spiral notebooks. Or, oh my God, they, they had their heads up their ass. Dude. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Me and my lieutenant were always like, what the hell? Like any time a decision was made, and then we would have to reprimand that decision and have to file the paperwork to get it reversed. That's yeah. Dude didn't know what he was doing. The anyway, so yeah. <laughs> she uh, the moon was in the right spot, so she oh, decided yeah. to paint the room with feces. Oh, and other things. Oh, I love it. Yep. <laughs> I didn't know that our facility had hazmat suits until that day. There it is. There it is. Yep. And okay. I was told, McAwee and Clouser, yeah? Are you guys done with your leadership stuff? No? Great. Here's your hazmat suits. Go clean. Uh, we've got a new guy that nobody likes. That should be his job. Yep. So new guy did it. Absolutely. I, uh, I, I as well spent – I did. I ended up cleaning it up, but it wasn't my fault. But she was – she was missing her girlfriend from Venus that impregnated her, and she decided to write in three-foot-tall letters in the room how much she loved her with her feces. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun story. Would you guys would you, would you like to hear the bad stories or do you want to keep hearing? The oh, good? I got loads of bad stories. Yeah, that's what. I, <laughs> <laughs> what do I sign up for on this stream? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's it, man. It's the school. That's it. it the school hard knocks back in the day, baby. Right? Yeah. yeah. How's our viewership numbers, TJ? That's a good question. Let's see. Are we After them? those two stories, they're in the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 16 oh, people. Wow. Yeah. So more prison stories is the key to success. Yeah, that's it, right? They like it raw and uncut. <laughs> All right, I have more questions that aren't of the prison variety that involves nothing about body parts or body uh, liquids. How's that? Okay, that All sounds right. good. All right. <laughs> Give me a second to look through my official documents here. I bet I bet you couldn't have got that story out on uh, on the uh, on Kevin's stream. <laughs> no, probably not. But speaking yeah. of Kevin, if you love this glorious voice, I'll be doing his MC stuff for him on Friday. So, oh, okay. cool. Yeah, it it it's the last Friday of the month, so that means there will be two artists, and the yeah. theme is comic book characters. So I'm super psyched. Nice. So I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, Jeff, and I'll probably yeah. talk to Kevin about it. I want to do it. I want to. I want to. I want to MC, but I only want to MC when you or Brian are there because I don't feel like I want to do a good job. Yeah, uh, Julian, don't worry about it. The only person I ever made fun of was Steve, but Steve no, and I are friends. No, so no, you no, don't no, want to fly no, solo, no. Julian. Is that what you're saying? I, I don't want to go by myself because of my dyslexia. I'm scared of how much I'll miss in the chat. Wait, you have Julian, dyslexia? anytime you want to do it and you need backup, buddy, I'm your guy. Wonderful. What? What'd you say, uh, Dave? I said you have dyslexia. Yes, sir. That's no fun. Hey, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, any of us would back you up, man. Yeah. yeah. Right on. As it goes, Julian, I got your six. Anyway. Thank you. Oh, you got a spell. <laughs> 18 and my 24. <laughs> we can math on this. We can. All right, so Keith's yeah. favorite Star Wars character that's, uh, yeah, favorite Star Wars character ever. Uh, Obi-Wan. Obi Wan, fair enough, good curves. You and McGregor, Obi Wan, or the other Obi Wan? Ooh, the old school. Old school, all right. Uh, Julian, favorite Star Wars character? Uh, that is going to be the Wookiee, Chewbacca. Chewbacca, what a Wookiee! Yeah. <laughs> TJ. Oh, this is a cool mm. lantern. Wow, that is. So I'd cool. have. To, I'm going to give a different answer. I'd have to say Captain Rex from the Clone Wars. Cab Rex was pretty awesome. I liked his story. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. All right, Mr. Morgan, same question. My favorite is Darth Vader. Ooh. You mean the main character of the Star Wars? Yeah, I mean, I was just, again, you know, being 17, seeing him come out right at the beginning and just like, what the heck? And being on the edge of my seat the whole time because nobody knew what it was at the time. It was just so cool. What would you think of his scene from Rogue One, Dave? <sighs> Oh, oh. <laughs> a little lot. That was a oh. deep sigh. That was a deep, deep sigh. Okay, I am um, here. I just remembered another character, so I have to amend my favorite character. That was quick. My favorite character is Darth Bane. That's fair. Yeah. Who would you want to see Darth Bane uh, played as in a flick, TJ? I don't know. I, I want to see. I want to see live action Darth Bane or an animated series. Either one I works for me. Batista as Bane. He has oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, I like, I like Batista work, as yeah. an actor. I'll take him in anything. He was a cool Vaughn villain too. I didn't see that. Wait, who? Batista, the wrestler. Yeah. Which but which which movie was he a Bond villain in? Uh, Spectre. The, the oh, I don't know if I've ever actually seen that. Believe it or not, it's good. It's very cool, and they got the bad guy from uh, *Inglorious Bastards* as the uh, uh, blowfish, blowfit. What's his name? Isn't Isn't Spectre the latest one to come uh, out? Yeah, yeah. Because the next one coming out is *No Time to Die*. If we ever, yeah. you know, get our acts together as people of this country. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Glad you, my love. <laughs> All right, so Jeff's favorite Star Wars character. This is kind of a, a tough road for me to answer. Ooh. But uh, it's a toss-up between Han Solo and Dash Rendar. Oh. Yeah. I don't know who Dash Rendar is. I'm not a huge 
you know, like know everything about Star Wars kind of guy. So who is that? So uh, Dash Rendar was in one book and a series of comic books and also an action figure. Yeah, he was an old friend of Han's. They both got kicked out of the Imperial Academy at the same time. Uh, Rendar came from a very rich family. Han Solo came from a very poor family. Yada, yada, rivalry, blah, 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 flying, da, da, da. But Dash Rendar was a smuggler that helped out the rebels during and after Hoth. Cool. And uh, he had a ship called the Outrider that was like 0.2 faster than the Millennium Falcon. And that was a big rivalry. It was funny. Can I ask a, a question that isn't on your list? Yeah. What did everybody think of the younger... Uh-oh, shoot. I just lost a telescope. The younger... Uh, 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 I'm spacing out. Billy D. Williams character. Uh, oh, Lando? Daniel Glover? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think of... Yeah. What do you guys think of his performance? Perfect. That's what I thought. Yeah. I was really impressed. I was okay with it. I, um, I uh, you know, I really liked Solo. Yeah. So yeah, Solo yeah. was good. You yeah, guys were the only ones. Uh, <laughs> I liked it too, but you guys are the only ones. <laughs> yeah, I was. I mean, he got the mannerisms and everything down. I was really impressed. Hold up, three twenty-four. Yeah. Check this. Check this out. Three twenty-four, right here. So let me. Uh, yeah. See that part? Yep. See that part? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of the uh, light fixture. Nice. Yeah, it, it's such a cool yeah. light fixture build. Yeah, it's the light's got the light has ears now. Yeah. All right. So here is Dash Rendar uh, in Ooh, action figure yeah. form. Ah, cool. Okay. Yep. So pretty cool character. He was fun. Wait, are these benches or railings? These are rail. Oh, this is cool. St Keith, what step are you on? Uh, three, three, six. Yeah, that's what I thought. And I'm you on can't go wrong with Darth Maul or Boba Fett. That's for sure. No, yeah, yep. those are. Yep. Yeah, those are good characters. Another, Maul's another Boba Fett. Fett. Boba Fett. Fett. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Where? <Yeah. laughs> Boba Fett. <laughs> Uh, spoilers for the Mandalorian. I'm glad that Boba Fett got his due diligence finally, and we all saw how much of an awesome dude he was. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do. You do what you have to, man. Yeah. Not what you want to. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> show. Another good character that I really liked was uh, Mara Jade Skywalker. Yep, Mara Jade's good stuff. I have her action yeah. figure as well. She's great. I was um. I was reading this one book. It was called Allegiance, and it yep. followed this this rogue stormtrooper unit that ended up calling themselves the Hand of Judgment, and Mara Jade was in it. It was a it was a really interesting story. And those guys went on to serve Thrawn directly when he went out. And yeah. Explains. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they w they ended up in with Thrawn, and didn't they like help with stormtrooper training or something it, for his? That's why Thrawn had uh, alien stormtroopers in previous books that took place in the future. Yeah. Right, Keith? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little tricky getting it on there. <sighs> I had to use this to kind of get it close to the tree and stick it Am in. Am I going to break it? I'm going to break it, aren't I? <laughs> uh, I was just taking the uh, <laughs> door as you put it on because that fell off like every time I tried to push it down. What happened? The lamp by the door. Um, when you get to that step, uh, this lamp right here. I got you. I know what you're talking about now. Mary Jade, there she is. <clears throat> hey Jeff. Yeah. Have you listened to any of the Star Wars audiobooks? Uh, I have most of them, and I've read most of the novels. So. But but have you listened to any of them? Yeah, they're really fun. Yeah, I'm trying to remember who the, who's the narrator. He does a what is it? Mark? What's his name? Uh, give me a second. I'll look it up right now. Yeah, because he does. I think he does a really good job. Yeah. I'm getting hungry, so I can't think of his name. That's my excuse. Yeah. yeah. It's not because I'm old or anything. It's just because. No, I'm old. it could not be that. No. Yeah, no. I'm on 328, by the way, everybody. Woo! So I'm not too far behind. I know we're at <laughs> past that hour mark, but I'm feeling good about things. I'm on 331, and yeah, I'm not doing too bad either. So. Yeah. I kept uh, Mark Thompson is his yeah Mark name. Thompson yeah he does a really good job at the narration and a lot of voices and stuff like that I think yeah he does he's good at storytelling yes yes nice 
So I have a, um, I have a couple books here that are in the New Jedi Order series. Then this oh, was the um, Bong. Yeah, so I have Dark Tide one and two. I already read Vector Prime, which was the one before this, the one where Chewbacca dies. Yep. Hey man. Yeah. Hey, no spoilers. Hey, this. <laughs> when did this book come out? 1990 something. There say, you if go. you haven't read it it's by been, then, it's not a spoiler. It's been out for tw- it's been out for 25 years. That's yeah. older than TJ. And it, it's not even canon anymore, anymore anyway. So, yeah, right. but um, no, it's been. I'm gonna try and actually get through these series. I think I'm missing about six or seven books, but I'll find them eventually. One also, of my favorite. I'm sorry. One of my favorite characters is in those books. Uh, Corn Horn, the Corellian Jedi. Yeah. 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 The There's Jedi, a, the, the cop turned Jedi and fighter pilot turned Jedi. It was one of my favorite characters. Yeah. And I've also got another book, uh, Dark Saber. It's a good one. Which, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know too much about it, but I know that they reconstruct the Death Star, except it's just the laser cannon. Yep, it takes big, place uh, uh, like ten years or... after uh, yeah. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And and you also meet the uh, the original builder of the Death Star. Yep. Find out about him. So I, I read about him, and he was an interesting character. Yeah. Are you just randomly switching between all of the between highlighting all the builders, Julian? Yes, I am. Sounds like a good idea to me. I really think it might be because when there's five of us up here, you can't see about, about nothing. Yep. So TJ, if you want some good Star Wars uh, books, check out the uh, Rogue Squadron X-wing series. Um, yeah, I've got a few of those books. All right. Um, uh, so I that and uh, I Jedi is a fantastic book. And the Kevin Anderson books, too, about the Jedi Academy are great. So you guys are going to roast me real quick, but when do we get a standalone movie about the guy who's like, I am one with the Force, and the Force is one with me? We- Man, I don't know, but I hope so too soon. I'm pretty sure that dude was a Jedi. Dude, he was have been a Jedi. He was a maze ball. Yeah, he would. Yeah. Like, the way that they phrased it, there are Thank no Jedi man. here, implies he was one, but he's not anymore. Right. It's kind of like that Ahsoka Tano business where she's like, I'm not a Jedi, but okay. I'm not a Jedi, but I'm a Force user. Right. And I use the light side of the Force. Yeah. So that's so another question, Jeff. Basically, Jedi. What, What's what, up, did you, what did you think about Mandalorian? The series? Uh, did you enjoy it? Uh, I enjoyed some of it. I didn't enjoy some of it as well. There was parts okay. that I was like, okay. And there was other parts where I was like, yay. Like uh, at that last episode when What's-His-Name showed up, I was screaming that at my wife. Is that blah, blah, blah? Is that blah, blah? Holy crap, it's blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so that was awesome. But um, I overall, I, it was it was fine. I mean, yeah. I, I, I was, I'm very impressed with it as a TV show because it has, I mean, this is something I pay more attention to because of my education is the production quality is more like a movie. And and I loved watching some of the behind the scenes, how it was done stuff. I yeah, enjoyed man. blah 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 the best, I think. <laughs> okay. No, the should. behind the scenes stuff on the Mandalorian was cool. Like that giant LED screen that they have for their backgrounds and everything. That's what I'm there, talking about. Yep. That is amazing piece of tech right there. Like holy yeah. smokes. All right, now I gotta figure out how to how this gets mounted. Oh, you're about to mount. Let me give you the big screen of I didn't realize Keith but yeah, there you go. Break it quick. Uh, now you're going to make me have to figure it out while everybody's watching. Yeah, man. Something like this. Watching me. Is, <laughs> and I and, get no uh, privacy, man. No. Uh, Seti Buron, if that's how you pronounce your name, if you want me to narrate stuff, give me more lines. <laughs> <laughs> Time to start narrating the phone. Yeah, give me, give me some lines to do if you want. There you go, Dave. That looks sharp. Thank you. How you doing there, Julian? Oh, I am on three, three, four. Three, okay, you're almost done. Three, four. You get so yeah, Dave, more steps. The tree. Say that again. Is it tight against the tree? Not I, yet. Not I'm going to do that later. So yeah, <laughs> I use this to kind of slide in between the the build and the tree, and then push it down on it. Yeah. One of the uh, brick separators is the end of the brick separator. Nice. Actually, it, it is pretty tight against the tree, but yeah, I'm going to finish that later after I eat dinner and my brain works better. What are you having for dinner, Dave? 
I don't know yet. That's the, that's the problem I have. It's like half the time I, I'm hungry, but I have no idea what I want to eat. I hate it when oh. that happens. It's that also happens. a lot harder to cook for one person than it is for two or yeah. three or four. What was that? That happens to fat guys a lot too, Dave. Don't worry. I just, I just eat all of it. What happens I've... to fat guys a lot? <laughs> uh, we, we were hungry, but we don't know what we want to eat. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I use the dining hall, so I have no choice in what I eat now. Well, very little. I go down there and I have to pick one of the three options or so that they've got down there. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I eat out, which I don't usually do while I'm here. I do it once a week, twice a week. Once is at the Chick fil A that's like two minutes walk that's on campus. And then the other is somewhere else that I go while I'm doing my weekly shopping. There we go. I'm doing the TJ slash Moto thing now. See, my, my dining hall when I was in college had a very odd uh, thing. They would sell you a cheeseburger, let's say it was $2, right? And, and one patty, that cheese. And then you could get a cheeseburger sub for like $5, and that was like six patties. Oh, geez. Wow. <laughs> like, why the hell would anyone buy a cheeseburger? Just get the cheeseburger sub. I don't know. I, I, I have um, I have a line request. What's the line, line request? Uh oh. I am serious, but don't call me Shirley. Ah yes. Uh, Shirley. All right. All right. Did nervous? You yes. First time? No, I've been nervous lots of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... In reference to flying. All right. So good movie. So yeah, it's so many quotable lines. Julian, take the take the uh, lamp off by the door. Take the lamp off. Take the lamp off by the door. I fell off many times while I was putting it on there. Take a bad week to start smoking hash. It's got Stop windows and hash. curtains. It looks like a big Tylenol. <laughs> Johnny, what do you make out of this? Well, you can make a hat or a boat or a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So does this tile go right here between? You got it. Jeez, this is gonna be rough. Yeah, I Julian. That's why it's got to be tied up against the tree. We're gonna make him, everybody give, give Julian, Julian some quiet so he can do it. Ready? Stare intently. Buy orange bricks. Buy orange bricks. Buy orange bricks. Hey, it's there. I don't think it's solid. No, see, hey, look at. Throw me up on the screen and then <laughs> throw me up on the big screen. <laughs> Come on. Hey, what? Slide huh? in between and then you can push it down on it. Oh, no, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, okay. See this? I got it. I got it. I got it. It's down. Okay. It's down. It's down everywhere. All right. All right. I'm the only one that cheated. I'm doing it later. Yeah. yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> That's fair. Now, you put your uh, thing back on. You can... I did. Right. This, this thing is a beast, man. It really is. Look at this damn thing. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, you got you guys swinging. That's funny. Yeah, my guys. <laughs> I actually did that too. Good idea. You can't lose him that way. That's right. There we go, folks. One hour, 12 minutes, and 8 million seconds. Whoa. Uh, I just have to say thank you, Jeff, for hanging out with us tonight. Those yeah. questions were great. Yeah. See, oh, no do that again. I yeah. usually do the... Uh, I'm usually modding for Bricks O'Brien, but uh, I I told him and I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna go do this instead." Bye. So, hey. yep. <laughs> or he didn't have a stream, one or the other. No, he did. I just. Oh wow! I, I, well, I, feel <laughs> I feel special. I feel special. I appreciate you being here, but don't feel obligated to show up, brother. Right. I don't feel obligated about anything that I do, so no worries. Wonderful. So I'm gonna before we go though, I'm gonna do a thing. Okay. Yeah. I didn't make Your my stream, mini you can do whatever things you want. I didn't make my mini fig till just now, and I'm oh. going to show you guys the piece that was um, on the lamp. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Perfect. <That's cool. laughs> I love it. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's do this again next week, boys. I'm yeah. eight o'clock. I like it. All right. I'll be here. So, uh, so from all cool. of us here at the uh, Legos, uh, Legos Ultimate Builds, oh, uh, 
Thanks for coming. Remember, you got to love those bricks. Bye. Oh, yeah. Bye.